it's like Jack 21 bucks to let's play off Ocarina of Time. That's part we were having trouble with Daruni here, and he was all mad. Well, play Saria's song. Oh, nope. Hang on, press B. Ah, uh, playing Saria's song. Nope. What am I trying to do again? Oh, am I doing the Z button thing again? Let's try it again. There we go. Sheesh. Play sorry song, and it should make him feel better. I don't know how, but it does. What? Oh my gosh! Now he's dancing, and it's now what's, he's all going crazy. He's like, I'm gonna go way over here. Uh, you're right there. Oh! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hot! What a hot beat! Whoa! I yeah! Yahoo! And what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression's all gone. Sun just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I'm Darunia. Okay, that's nice to know that. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. Treasure? Hold on, I'm not gonna give it to you that easily. You want it so badly? Why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's cavern and prove yourself a real man? That way everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I can't keep up this guy's voice because it's hurting my throat. I'm not really giving you this in return, but take it anyway. If you were like this, even a little fella like you can pick up a bone flower. This does not sound like his original voice. And we get the Gorn's bracelet. This allows us to be able to pick up things that we couldn't pick up before, including the bone flowers now. So, now we've taken care of that. Now we can do some mini games. Not only mini games, but like little quest bits. First thing involving this big old spinning thing in the center of the room. You have to throw a bomb in it, and it's, it's like a roulette wheel. The different faces on it, you want to get the really happy smiley face. So, I'll show you what you're trying to do. You're going to try and throw it in it like that. Actually, that was pretty amazing on my first try. And you want it to land on the really, really happy face. What do we get? Aww. That, was, that doesn't give me a lot, though. Shoot, alright, you know what? Let's try that again. If not, I'll just meet you guys. I'll just come back to when I get it. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to when I get it. Hang on. Okay. That, uh, I've been doing this for about two minutes now. I can't believe this takes me that long. There we go. Let's see what happens. I've gone on the regular face twice now. Come on. It's all by chance, I think. Yes! Finally! He gets his rupees and a piece of heart. That's being blocked by the rupee. We got the rupee piece of heart! Okay, anyway. Oh, ooh, rupee too. I'll take that. Uh, anything else I can do here? Go on. Hmm. I think that's everything I can do here at the moment. No, that leads up to the second layer. I won't go higher. Any rupees? No. Okay, thank you. Careful there, okay? You're going crazy again. Uh, I don't know how I'm collecting rupees, so I'm not going to need them for a while. I'm going to get a ton from the dungeon itself anyway. Well, we're down here in Goron City. It's time we head on into the Dodongo's Cavern. But if you remember, there's a huge old boulder pass in front of the Dodongo's Cavern in the last part we saw. So we're going to have to... Open it up. The only way we can is with this bomb plant. Uh, what's going on here, sir? I'm standing here, yes. Uh, what about the bomb flowers? Those plants growing, yes. Yeah, we're, uh, this guy's just information hauling we don't need right now. Pick it up and throw it. That's all you gotta do. No matter how close it is, or how far away it is, it'll blow up the entrance to the jungle's cavern. Now we can get in! However, there is something we can do here. There, this, is a, this is a piece of heart you shouldn't be able to get yet. 
Like, not for a long time, but I should... Ah, oh, crap, I was, off. Oh, I was so close. Hang on. I forgot, you have to do it at an angle. So not very, not completely straight back, more like... Uh, uh, more like uh, that. That's perfect. That and back. Ooh, like this. Find another piece of heart. This piece of heart, which is right on top of the dongle's cavern, you sh we, we, you, you're technically not able to get this until much farther in the game. Like, we are talking, like, halfway through the game type of stuff. We, you should not be able to get that that soon. But, that's a nice little quick way we can get it. Okay. This part always gets me in this opening room. I always forget about, this is the one room I always forget about this place because it's just a random entrance right. There's nothing else special. Alright, well I do okay, obviously we can probably put a bomb on oh, nuts. Alright, well, there's another one over here. Let's try it again. This time get a little bit farther away. There we go. And that should open the door! All right, this is the Dodongo's Cavern. Whew, boy, I'm, I tell you, I'm, was not looking forward to this. It looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. A really device there, don't step in lava. I only knew what that meant after the first, okay, I'm not gonna risk it though. Yeah, if you touch that, these rocks, that's, that doesn't look, it doesn't look like lava. It's more like rocks with red, water around it, but it's lava. It's liquid lava. You can get pretty darn hurt. In the middle, we see our first ever Beemos. They're, la they're basically laser statues. Don't get too close to them. You can only kill them with bombs. Oh, well. You know how it is with these things. Blow this up. Inside a treasure chest. Our first one, right off the bat, as we open it with the blinding light. Inside we find the map. Good thing to get this out of the way right now. That way we can know exactly where we are. Big room this is. Okay, let's run. Be careful of that Beemos, because I just know it's going to get me. Whoa. Oh, it's just one of these guys. Ah, uh, well that guy just sells you Deku. I believe a Deku shield, I think. Because uh, it is possible for yours to burn if you don't have the ho the healing shield already. I'm pretty sure that guy just sells you uh, Deku shields. Okay. Crap, 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 crap. Moving, moving, moving. Uh, platforms, come on. Come on, platforms. I can't keep this guy busy forever. Okay, should be up now. Run! <laughs> okay. Right then. Now we'll just take this little uh, bomb flower around here. Drop it down here. And we can now progress further in the dungeon. That's basically where we're going. Oh boy. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. If I'm having a little bit of trouble like right now, uh, I am not knowing how this is going to go. Let's see. I thought there was a passageway there somewhere. Oh, it's in here. My bad. Be careful these little baby Dodongo things. They will explode. First you attack them, and then they'll explode. But I want to see if I can... There's a bomb wall behind me, and I want to see if I can bring one over to it, so that I can kill it, and it's... Hi, 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 hi! Die! Alright, let's see if it did it. Nuts, they weren't close enough. Alright, I'm giving up with that, then. I'll come back when we can actually do it without them. Oh, not trying to spoil nothing now, this place. Any other? Nope, all, all out baby Dodongos, okay. Basically, I was trying to lead it over so I could attack it right next to that wall so it would blow up and open the way, because behind there is a gold sculptula. But, I guess we're just gonna have to come back later. Now this puzzle's simple, this statue we can move. I'll think, I'll know what we can do with the other one. We can do it with this one. Then we'll just push it over onto the switch, because this is one of those, because it doesn't tell you, but I already knew this ahead of time, this is one of those switches that you have to hold it down, otherwise you won't go anywhere. Now we can go on through. The keys! Die! You too! 
All right. I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get the hang of this. It takes me a while. So I, I'm sorry. It usually takes me a while to get back to the swing of things, but there's all folks. Why all the folks? I don't know. Uh, the back attack always gets me. These guys aren't that hard. Ah, he's running off. He's scared. They only do a half heart each, so I'm, I'm not too worried. Okay, there you are. Come on, come on. How about ya? Just doing a three attack here. Aw, oh, he's running off too. Okay, where's your buddy? I knew he ran off. Wait, is there only one of you? Usually they attack in twos, right? Come on, there's a oh I hear him. Yeah, there are two, I knew it. Where's your second one? There he is. Just let him come over to you. Ah. Hey, I have a shield on my back. You should not be able to attack me if I have a shield on my back. You should actually your sword should have been deflected. Uh fine. Well, we're done in this room here. Shouldn't be too hard. See, I'm sorry, it usually takes me a while to get back into the swing of things with the game, but when I do get back into the swing of things, I get back to the swing of things. Uh, I guess that's one fault as a gamer. Slow startup. When the engine gets revving, it gets going. Kaboom! Alright, and there's just another uh, Deku shop scrub guy. You know, the Deku stores and he sells Deku sticks, I believe, for this part here. And here are our first Dodongos. Now be careful. You attack their tail, they're immediately gonna swing it to try and hurt you, so. Best attack is, first swing your sword, back away. Swing your sword, back away, swing your sword, back away. Oh, and they blow up, I don't, I forgot to mention that. They also blow up when you kill them, so. Swing your sword, back up. Their fire, their flamethrower is really easy to dodge, so. Three swipes or one swipe and a, uh, A attack. I, I get, I, I'm realizing at this point the, the jump attack is pretty much equal to one, uh, to two of your regular swipes. Stun. Ah, oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Mix that. And there you got it. Pretty easy enemy, actually. All right, now time for the puzzle in this room. We gotta light some torches again. Cause there's always torches we're lighting in this game. Just run along the edge of the room. You shouldn't. But just run along this side of the room. You shouldn't miss them. And we're done. Uh, I believe we're done. Look at all the dongles. Yep, okay. We're getting somewhere, though. Okay, now we should be on this side of the room. Yes, indeed, we are. I don't know why we couldn't reach this ahead before. Maybe it was too high for us to reach up to, but, uh, now we're trying to go into the right side, because that's where we have to go next. Oh, no, please, please, please. Yes! Ah, oh, crap, now we gotta do a couple more laps. I don't like running laps. Jack and Link, Jack slash Link does not like running laps. <laughs> Jump. Come on, come on. What's making these things move anyway? Why do they move so slow? Is there something there's any speed limit for elevators in this place? All right, so. All right, so, oh, this, this room. Okay, we're good, this room. Now, first thing we're going to want to do... We have a lot of bombs around this stairway. Oh, that's going to be awesome. I can already tell it. I can already wait. Can't wait. Michael Bay films have taught me anything. It's that the bigger the explosion... Usually the cheaper results that they're had. Eh. Yeah, it looks like we're going to need a... Uh, bomb to blow that up, and the bomb plan doesn't more look like it work at the moment, so... Uh oh Now that is our first... First time we ever encounter this guy. Statues! Only to kill them is with a good place bomb. Pretty simple, just uh, run and just lead him over to it. Can be simpler. There you go. Oh, shoot, shoot, he's going crazy. Run, run, I forgot about that part. When you kill them, they go a little crazy. I forgot about that. <laughs> anyway, for killing that, we get the secret item of it in the blinding light. A compass. That is the secret item of this place. No, it's not the secret item of this place. 
just a compass. Alright, so let's get our bomb flower. Let's have us some Michael Bay fun. Just drop it right in the center. And kaboom! And blowing up the support beams. The staircase falls. Wow. That was awesome. Okay, uh, just checking everything. Uh, okay, we are doing good so far. Ah, Link, why, why does it take you so long to climb up these steps, boy? My goodness. Oh, I hear Skulta, though. Yes, I do hear it. Where are you? Come out. Oh, it's over there. Huh. Well, poo. Okay. We're going to go around, I see. Any uh, refills? Uh, well, I'll take rupees. You know a lot more, so I'm fine. Ah, here we go. Well, let's just take a regular Skullchula. Uh, well, there's a Skullchula. Gold Skullchula. You know, I think we're gonna get this. I'll call that a part. So, you know, I'm Lucky Jack Twain, unless we have Ocarina of Time in the next part. I'm gonna finish off the Dongo's Cavern. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make all my parts about this time length. That'd be better.